Hi guys, I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me. Boy, the back basin is really huffing and a puffing right now. Yeah, there was an eruption of one of the geysers there. You can see the dead trees that I've been talking about in this location. Got a real good in, you know, indication. And look at this one. Um, lodgepole? What is that? Wow. Look at the steam coming up. They had a magnitude 3.0 earthquake earlier today. I've been watching what's going on. Um, I posted on my Patreon account. Um, the guys are going off about, oh, 322, 3, no, um, 844 this morning it went off. And I posted it on my Patreon account. Um, so if you're um, a subscriber, you could have watched that eruption. And then it really started snowing there at Yellowstone. And now we got this going on. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen this back geyser um, putting out that much water in the past. There hasn't been an earthquake in a few minutes. Let me show you. This is currently what the live stream is showing or the stream view is showing. We just got this one small earthquake that shows up there at Maple Creek and the borehole for the Madison River area. This here is the uh, 3.0 that occurred uh, near the uh, Sawtooth Fault Zone. It was actually, let me show you, right there in the middle of the Trans Chalice Fault Zone. Now this uh, whole area is slowly moving uh, northeast, but there's the 3.0. That one was today. And now that's from 2001. There was, you know, another one here, a 1.6. That was today. And then another 1.6. There was a total of four within this area. This one here, a 1.5. That was closer to Stanley, Idaho. Here's the seismic signature as it was picked up there at Yellowstone Park. This is the borehole uh, for the Madison River area. This is the monitor for Maple Creek. And this is Lake Butte. And we'll look at the signature. There we go. I come up with a magnitude 3.22. And you can see it's got rounded edges. Yeah, this was volcanic in uh, uh, magma on the move type of earthquake. I was looking up different things, seeing what, what might be new with the research for uh, Yellowstone, seeing how um, they probably weren't getting out because of the pandemic. But there's this area, I got a drone out in red. Um, this is an area of about nine miles and by three miles, I think it is, where they actually have found indications of past dike intrusion. That's where you get a crack in the ground and magma flows up. This is an area um, 16 kilometers long. Actually, it's an area of about 10 miles, close to 10 miles long, by a little more than a mile wide, where they have found plumes, pipes, I call it stocks here, and dike intrusion. Let me close this, and I'll show you how close this is to the trans chalice fault zone yeah that was some information that i found today and it's not far from pine flats hot springs well you know you got hot springs because of volcanic activity yeah and this is the direction that the fault the trans chalice fault system is moving it goes all the way up to canada okay there that's probably the other 1.6 that occurred today close to a 2.9 that they had in december of last year in 2021 the red area is the sawtooth fault zone let me bring it out and then i acquired this today it shows the direction of one of the plumes that comes up to yellowstone and showing the direction let me make that bigger the direction that the magma is moving now this is yellowstone lake and this goes up to the norris geyser basin 
Uh, red is uh, past eruptions. Yellow is hydrothermal areas. This here more than likely is caused by the plume that comes up from uh, the Gulf of California. And here's another image that I acquired. Now let me zoom in. Uh, okay, let's come in a little bit more. So these, this here is a Snake River Plateau where the different eruptions occurred. And this is the plume that comes up from the uh, Gulf of California. And it's showing the uh, tectonic plate movement here. All these documents will be listed down below in the more information. And they got the different fault zones uh, drawn out too here. Along with the direction that the magma is moving under the ground. And then let me bring it over. That's uh, where um, Earthquake Lake and Holmes Hill is over there. Down by Jackson Hole. Uh, Wyoming, they had a 0 0.9 earthquake. Those of you that have followed me will be reminded how as Yellowstone rises up, it puts pressure down here on this fault zone. Uh, the valley floor is actually coming up because of the uh, stress that's being applied, shortening that fault. And there was also a 1.5 near Hoback, Wyoming. So here's the location near the interstate where that 0 0.9 occurred. Let me bring this out. Um, Auburn Fish Hatchery. Yeah, I used to have a monitor there. And this is the Teton Fault. Not far from there, there was a magnitude 3.6. Uh, February 24th of last year. So here's the 0 0.9, the Teton Fault. And this is the area when they had the last major eruption where the mountains were literally blown off. See how it abruptly changes right there. So anyways, as Yellowstone Uplift, which is the black line from 2015, rises up, um, it puts pressure on these faults. And like I said, it, uh, it is actually rising. The, the floor of the valley is actually rising up. There we go. Let me bring it in a little bit. And the mountains are, are kind of sinking a little bit. I don't think the mountains are actually sinking. It probably gives you the illusion that they're sinking because the valley floor is rising up. So here's the most recent earthquake that I showed you. It actually looks like two earthquakes and oops. Yeah, it actually looks like it was caused by tectonic movement of um, the North American plate moving west. 2155. So they're not reporting that earthquake. The last one they're reporting is a uh, magnitude 1.5. Oh, that's all the way down in Nevada. Forget that. So for this area, Let's see. Uh, oh, 2157, Hedgen Lake. Maybe they are reporting it. All right, so they are reporting it. It looks like they're reporting both of them as two separate earthquakes, which is unusual for them. We got a minus 0 0.7 and then the 0 0.8. Let me, let me bring it in so you can see it a little bit better. Let me bring it over. Yeah, there hedge, there's Hedge and Lake. Yeah, I am really surprised that they're reporting it. Then we got a 0 0.4 at 2257. Again, that looks like a tectonic type earthquake. I am really surprised they're reporting them. Let's look at the spectrogram. Now, this is a monitor for Maple Creek. Yeah, really, su it surprises me. We come up over here. Let me show you. We got a lot of them here. Marked in red. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 347 looks fairly significant. There's its signature. And then I'll go back to the spectrogram. Again, tectonic and movement. And they're saying that one occurred in Stanley, Idaho. A magnitude 1.6. Let me check the time. 
To be picked up at Maple Creek, it's got to be larger. Well, evidently not, but there's a lot of magma that came into the system, and what they did was um, added in these other earthquakes that occurred afterwards. Let me make this bigger for you. Okay, there we go. Yeah, they just added them. Oh, darn it. Keep that when it does that. There we go. Let me bring this over. Yeah, they added all. Why does it keep getting smaller on me? Okay, there we go. Yeah, they put all three of these earthquakes together. All right, did they report this one? It's at 522. I'm having problems with my program, it looks like, today. Okay, 522. That one they are not reporting. Yeah, look at the magma coming in. I want to jump over here to, um, yeah, all the drum beats that's been happening. See, these are volcanic. And let's look at the uh, spectrogram. Oh, I got to make it smaller because I enlarged it for you. So we're not going to be able to see it. Okay. This is what it was showing when I pulled the files just a little while ago. Yeah. Lots of magma coming into the system. Let me make this smaller. And then up here at the borehole, I'll make that one larger. Take a look. Yeah, see, this is tectonic. And there's that earthquake that I reported. We got drum beats here. Yeah, tectonic. The uh, plates are moving. Yeah, I got some data missing here. Yeah, see all this? Yeah, look at that. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. This one here, too, at Lake Butte that occurred, would have been yesterday, universal time, um, 11.30 and 50 seconds. Um, that's volcanic. And it doesn't surprise me. This is Lake Butte. Got that crack going on there at the bottom of the lake. Um, but they're not reporting it. And then the line of melt. Yeah, supposedly we got, what, 10 to 15% melt down there um, in the caldera. But they actually call this blobs of magma. That's their scientific name um, that's coming into the system. There's another one over here marked in red. Right there. See if I can make it bigger. There we go. See, that's that's tectonic. One, I can tell because it's got the sharper points. But also, let me make this smaller too. Um, it comes in as a little round circle. See that? All right, the tilt meter for borehole 950 for Norris Geyser Basin. And this is for the last week. And then the um, the disc showing which direction the uplift is going towards the north. And then if we come down, this is the last month. Yeah, it's slowly rising up. They keep telling you it's not rising, but it is. And then the 30-day disc. Yeah. All right, the 30-day disc. Uh, tilt for Grant, which is on the western side of Yellowstone Lake. Let me show you. Right here, this is the West Thumb Caldera. Uh, that's what they call it. It um, formed, oh, uh, probably 4,000 to 6,000 years ago. Um, there is rhyolite flows in this area, which are less than 10,000 years old. But right there is Grant Village. Let me bring it in for those of you who might be looking at it on your uh, phones. And we'll bring it out. And this is Yellowstone Lake. Up over here is uh, the Yellowstone River where it empties out there by the fishing bridge. This here is Mary's Bay. They had a hydrothermal eruption 
about 13,800 years ago, which actually cr caused a tsunami. Threw out debris, oh, two miles, was it? And then down over here is Lake Butte Monitor. That's this monitor right here. Let me close it out. That's showing the magma that's flowing into the system. So here's the monitor for showing the tilt for Grant um, the last week. And then the direction that the tilt is going uh, northeast, I suppose. And then the last 30 days. Yeah, they keep telling you it's, yeah, it's not rising. Look where it took a breath here. Yeah, it's definitely going up. But now this is micro radiance. This is teeny, 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 tiny. So there are 1,000 micro radians. Do I have that right? To one uh, millimeter. Let me pull this over so you can see this. So it's teeny tiny uplift that's going on here. And this is the last month. And it's, yeah, it's off the disc. And yeah, they, they have this set at two micro radians. All right, so here is the borehole for the Madison River area. And this is the last week of tilt. And again, this is set at micro radians. And we'll come down to the disc. This is set at one micro radian. But yeah, we definitely have uplift going on. It's not extreme, but it's, it's, the magma is still coming into the system. And they keep talking about how it's fluids that are going down in the cracks and making the ground rise. Well, yeah, sometimes, but not all the time. And, and they know that magma is rising up in the system. They know that. So anyways, that's all I have for you right now. Supposedly it's 38 degrees. It was really snowing earlier. Here's an image that I captured earlier and I shared it on Twitter. Yeah, look at the snow. Um, I believe this is the sisters back here that was erupting then. But see all the snow that was on the ground then compared to what it is now? All gone. Yeah, they're looking at beehive. So if you have any thoughts or comments or questions, please put those down below. Thank you very much for those of you that have joined me on Patreon uh, yesterday and today. I really appreciate it. And to my other followers who have sent in donation, wow, you guys are amazing. Um, please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you all.